Hello everybody, I'm Alex Davidson from the Hobby Quest, and today I'm going to be showing you the FlyQuest airplane. This is a really fun plane, it's a one session one, so this is a one session plane that you can build with the kids. It's super fun to build, and it's even more fun to fly. So let me show you what you get inside the package. What we're going to do is we're going to open this up, just like this, and when you're with the kids and you're doing this in a class, I would actually do this whole thing First, before handing it out, I would show them the entire build process, taking it out just so that they understand what they're getting before they actually get it in their hands. So I pull this out, you can see the FlyQuest on this little landing pad right here, and it also comes with a set of stickers. The stickers can go anywhere they like, the kids will always ask, where do I put the stickers? The right answer is you can put the stickers anywhere you like, as long as you're not interfering with some wing, making it stick way out somewhere. As long as you're sticking it flat on the plane, there's no right or wrong place to put those stickers. They can go anywhere you like. I'm going to put those to the side for now. We won't need them for this little demonstration. So we'll put those over there. This is the runway. This will come into play later. I'm going to set this to the side for now, but later on I'm going to pull this back in. This is the main focus of our attention right now. So with the kids, I would show them. Here's my fly quest. The first step of what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully grab our wings and just fold them down like that. We just want them to stay in place. Remind the kids, this is very thin styrofoam. If I grab this and just yank it down and I don't even care what I'm doing, I'm gonna rip the styrofoam, it's gonna fall apart. It's a fragile plane. We have to be very careful with this. So just be aware that it is, uh, it's styrofoam and we have to just be careful with it. So. The second part, and this is why it's really important to emphasize that, is that we have to fold these two parts down right here. You'll notice this cut right there. We're not folding this part down, we're folding this part down. So I'm gonna grab one of those sides and very carefully just bend that down like that. There it is. Now I'm going to grab the other side and there we go. So both of those fold down. I'm just gonna press those into place because I want that to stay just like this. Perfect. So now, this is actually ready to fly. This is exactly what we need to do in order to make this whole thing fly. I'm gonna show you how to fly it in just a second, but first, I just wanna show you a couple of flaps. Now keep in mind, when we open this out of the package, this is already balanced. It should be ready to go. Nothing should be adjusted. But if you need to be able to adjust something, we do have the elevators back here, these two parts, and we have the flaps. I would be nervous about telling the kids about this because I find with kids, usually if you let them know that there are things that could be adjusted, they're gonna start adjusting all of that, changing the wings, changing the, the like all the pieces before they even fly it. Why would you make adjustments if you don't even know how it flies yet? It could fly perfectly fine, and then those adjustments that you made are going to make it not fly very well at all. So it's probably best to not tell the kids about this unless there's a serious problem with how their plane is flying. Then you might be able to fix it, but I suggest only the instructor should be the one moving those parts. So for flying this, we have two moves that we can do, two main moves. Uh, the first one is we're going to hold it by the nose, and I'm going to be looking at the bottom of the wings. Now when I show this to the kids, a lot of times, you know, the kids see this, so then they try to mirror that, but they kind of get it like they're holding it the wrong way like this. They're holding it backwards. So I always show them, like if you are the kids, I show them from my perspective, I'm seeing the bottom of the wings. I'm not facing the plane like that. I'm not holding it like this. I'm not doing some awkward, weird thing. It's very simple. Just hold it by the nose, hold it like this, and that's it. Now what we're gonna do is you throw it straight up in the air, just like that. You're not throwing it like this. You're not throwing it like that. It's straight up in the air. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna go up and it's gonna go around and loop back to you. Now this is where our runway comes into play. As we were saying before, this is made of thin styrofoam. If a kid throws it in the air and tries to grab it like that, it's gonna crush the plane. That's not gonna be good. We don't want kids to accidentally crush their plane like that. So instead what we tell them to do is not to catch it with their hands, but instead with one hand they can hold the runway, the other hand they throw it, and in order to catch it they try to make it land on the runway. That's the best way to do it. 
Once they get really good with that, that's when they can probably start trying to catch it with their hands. The way that you catch it is with open hands like that. You just catch it, and that's it. You never grab, you never clap it in the air, you never do that. You always uh, catch it with open hands, and that way it's not going to get crushed. So that's what the, uh, the runway is for. The second thing that we can do with this, and this to me is a much more impressive move, but it takes a lot more practice is where we hold the nose of the plane and we hold it sideways. Again, I'm looking at the bottom of the wings. I'm gonna show the kids. I look at the bottom of the wings like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw it sideways, straight like that. And again, when the kids see this, they'll take it and they'll like try to throw it awkwardly at some weird angle. Just show them, look, all it is, is I'm holding the, the uh, plane out in front of me like this and I'm throwing it to the side. If you're right-handed, it's easier to throw it to the right. If you're le uh, left-handed, it's easier to throw it to the left. So whichever one suits them better, that's how you do it. When you throw it, it's going to fly around in a loop and then come back to you. Again, when it comes back, we want to try to use the runway in order to catch it so that it doesn't get crushed. So that is the Fly Quest. It's a super fun plane. And believe it or not, this is actually a really fun plane to do indoors. It's one of the few planes in our program that you can do indoors because it's very light and it won't destroy stuff in the process. So this works both outside and inside, which is really great. Now, additionally, uh, one thing I'd like to show is just, we'd like to show the kids how to put this away because once they're done with the class, they don't want to take it home like this. If you put this in your backpack, it's just going to get crushed. You know, this isn't going to work. So uh, what you can do is you can actually fold this back up and take it home. So we fold it like this, and then we fold the main wings by just pushing on the center very lightly. Don't want to force anything, just be very careful with it. It's going to fold in just like this. And we can take our packaging and just put it right back inside, just like so. And we can also put our uh, runway back inside as well. Um, since we're talking about the packaging, I'd like you to show. I'd like to show you the back of the packaging because this actually has a whole lot of information on it. So on here we can see the, uh, uh, you know, information about the fly quest, the different flaps that we have in order to adjust it. Again, it's good to remind the kids to not touch this unless they need to. Kids really have a tendency to just start adjusting things even if they don't have to, just because they want to adjust things. Tell them it's very important that they don't do that. It should be balanced as it comes out of the package. So anything they're doing with the flaps is going to unbalance the plane. So uh, you can do that and then it shows the, uh, uh, the two different tricks that I showed you a moment ago, throwing it straight up in the air and then throwing it in a loop. And additionally, they have a QR code on the back that they can scan and they can come and see lots of information online about this plane. They should take this home with them and this is actually good to go. So this is actually like really nicely packaged away so we can put this away, take it home with them at the end of the day. So that is the, uh, the FlyQuest.